channel. I am super excited to be filming this star. Praise be to Jesus, how we had this. I just had to put this on while filming the Cameroonian tag. This should have been one of my first videos on here. Like, what the hell was I thinking? It was until my last video, the shower video, my shower routine, that um, a subscriber from the United States, I believe she's Cameroonian, she was like, oh my God, I'm so happy to see a Cameroonian YouTuber on here that talks like her, you know. And she was like, please, can you do the Cameroonian tag, I was like, hmm, I might as well film this video and I just have to be extra about it. Let's go right ahead and start this video. But before I do that, if you've not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go right ahead, click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell beside it so you get notifications each time I upload a video. So straight into this tag, were you born in Cameroon? Mm -hmm. I was born in Cameroon, in Yaoundé. Yaoundé is the capital of Cameroon, so yes, I was born in Cameroon. Uh, next question is, what tribe are you from? I am from Akum, Small London. Basically, my tribe is called Small London because my tribe, we have water in my village, we've got roads, we've got beautiful houses. Bottom line, if you come to my village, you'll think you're in London. So, for that reason, my, my village is called Small London. So, yeah. And my mom and my dad are 100% from uh, Akum, yeah. So I'm from the northwest region, and my village or tribe is called Akum slash Small London. Next question: What is your favorite Cameroonian food? I don't think anybody can answer that question. Like to choose one meal from Cameroon. The first day I step my leg at the airport, I'm going straight for poisson brisé and bobolo. Like what the poisson brisé is roast fish, guys. It might be have we have. Um, the ocean, we have the sea, whatever, we have water basically in my country in Cameroon. So we've got fresh seafood, fish, prawns, you name it. It is really fresh from Poisson Brésil and Bobolo, from Taro sauce jaune, that's achu, my, my uh, traditional meal, from Katikati, I would die to eat Katikati right now. Um, from the southwest region, you have Kwakoko and Bangasu, that's where my husband comes from. My mother-in-law, she is the best when it comes to Kwa Kwa and Banga Soup. There's just so many nice meals when it comes to Cameroon. Like, I can't think straight. You've got Binye and I cannot answer that question. There's just so much Ndole, Mbongo Chobi. Please, I cannot answer that question. There's just so many options to choose from. Ekwang, that's my second favorite meal. So, yeah, I don't have a favorite Cameroonian meal. I love everything when it comes to my country. So yeah, uh, my favorite Cameroonian song, hmm, let me first start by saying I was born, like I said, I was born in Yaoundé, raised in Yaoundé, but while in Cameroon, when people met me, they would never ever think I'm from the English speaking part of Cameroon, like, I don't know, my personality, I don't know, but they always be like, tu es francophone, n'est-ce pas, tu viens du centre, I'm like, no, je ne suis pas francophone, je viens pas du centre. Another reason why people used to think that was because of my favorite Cameroonian music. I'm talking about Bikusi people. Like, and then the next question was, when was the last time you were in Cameroon? Uh, when did I travel here? Yeah. I was last January because I think I came here in January. So yeah, it's been we are in November. Like January will make it a year. So can you speak your dialect? Mm-hmm. I'm very proud. I'm very proud to say my kids are going to learn how to speak Akum. I can see my village, we've got our anthem. Let me just sing a, a, a small part like Alamba Kum Zibuten in London. No Gwenta Luin we in Gandum I speak my dialect. Yeah, I speak it fluently. Abela, Abela is how are you? Abona. Thank you. So yes, I speak my dialect. Um, next question, what do you like most or hate most about your country? Um, what I love most about my country, the food, first the food, I love the music of my country, we've got a lot of Makosa, Bendik, Bendika, Grass Tika, we've got Makosa, we've got Bikutsi, yeah, I love the music, I love the food, I love my country, I really, really do, even in another life, I would, born as an African, I would pick Cameroon, that's the truth. Um, what I don't like currently there's some tension going on in my country. That's the anglophone 
regions you know they feel marginalized and all that there's instability so it's not really really peaceful it bothers me a lot oh, people die it's really really heartbreaking oh my god you never just know you may be talking to somebody today tomorrow you wake up in the morning and you're like this there, there was gunshots and this person died like just even talking about it my voice is shaky because it's a sad reality i really hope things work out for the better but um yeah right now the instability in my country is a big problem considering the fact that i'm from the anglophone um, part of cameroon so yeah uh next question is what around your house do you have that represents your country mm -hmm. i have this this is um the the, the football the cameroonian football team this is like what they put on if okay basically one of the things people used to identify me when i say i'm cameroonian is oh so you are from etofis country yes this is what etofis puts on when he used to play for the um national team so i have this and i have the food as well i cook cameroonian food we just finished eating um hot uh, cow leg pepper soup so yeah the food i would say and then this this uh my husband's i don't know what's it called a jersey or something that's how it's called right there. yeah jersey i have this so next question um what makes you different from other cameroonians hmm i think everybody is different everybody is unique you know i am dolly there there are no two dollies in this world yeah i am me so mm -hmm. everybody is unique and different like yeah that's what i would say um next question what dumb questions do you get asked a lot i get asked my i receive my fair share of questions daily first one is mm, where are you from before i even answer i'm like australian i'm like no south african no okay nigerian i'm like no i'm not from any of those countries i'm cameroonian oh when i answer that like, mm, i never thought they were fair skinned girls girls with your complexion and even your eyes are you sure you're from cameroon i'm like hell yes i'm from cameroon i'm not australian i'm not south african or nigeria i'm cameroon and then they'll be like mm, i thought cameroonians were really really dark people like senegalese malians i'm like no we have fair skin girls in cameroon a lot as a matter of fact they're like okay so uh next question is what do you miss from cameroon I miss my family. I miss the food again. I miss the everyday life in Cameroon. The fact that I get to um, bargain even my taxi fare with a cab driver. I'm like, no, 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 no. I have this amount to drop me here. And he's like, no, pay this. I'm like, hell no, I have this. It's just here and stuff. Yeah, nobody has got time to bargain anything with you. If you're not, the driver is gone. The second you're thinking to say, please, can I pay? What are you negotiating with? Who? Where? When? Nobody's going to stand there to negotiate anything with you. I miss, yeah, I miss all that about Cameroon. I really, strangely, I would say I miss a bit of the mosquito. <laughs> I miss a bit of the mosquito bites. Of course, I was in Douala. Douala is the economic capital of Cameroon. There are a lot of mosquitoes in Douala. Yes, I miss that somehow. So, yeah. Um, last question. Do you plan on going back to Cameroon? Yes, yes, yes. Cameroon, how, how do I even explain Cameroon to you guys? Cameroon is like Africa in nature. Yeah. You see the way they use certain um, terms or sentences to describe other African countries? My country is described like that. Africa in nature. There's everything in my country. There's like everything. There's the hustling side of Cameroon. There's the countryside of Cameroon. We have food. A lot of food. Yeah, I will go back to Cameroon maybe next year. God willing. But definitely when it's time for me to settle down with my family, with my husband and stuff, yeah. It will definitely have to be Cameroon. I love my country. Proudly Cameroonian. So, yeah. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I was super excited. But, yeah. Of course, I'm repping Motherland. So, why not? So, um, in case you have not subscribed again, I see you. Click that subscribe button. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget. Share this video. Share to your brother, sister, mother, ex-girlfriend, ex- husband whatever let's get this video to 5000 and i'll 
I'll show you guys my dancing skills. I'll dance the Renee song, Dan La Sauce, yeah, for you guys. So, see you in my next video, guys. Bye.